everybody this is spring with soaps and suds and such and today I'm going to be making uh, some soap dough this particular soap dough I'm going to be using sorcery soaps recipe that she gives away on her blog and I have got permission to do so so I'll be linking all of her information in the description below uh, the video and if you hear me talking into thin air I am also doing live for two different groups on Facebook. I'm going live for my group, Soaping and Such. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And also uh, for Soaping Makes Sense. So we'll get started with this. And in my group, I don't see anyone. Ebony, if you're on, I'm getting ready to start making the soap dough. I'm just trying to get everything positioned where both of the groups can see. Okay. I can't tell if anybody's watching or not. But I guess I'll get started. Okay, what I've got in here, I'm going to be using Sorcery Soaps recipe, and she gives this on her blog. I did get permission though because I like to do my own recipes and I didn't want to do any ones without getting permission first. And she gave me permission to use it and she gave Ebony permission to use it. Um, because I'm making this soap dough so that Ebony can see how I do this. But uh, I haven't done this recipe before so we will see. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my lye solution ready and I'll go ahead and pour it in and that's just water with the lye I did not put any additives in there and then I need to get my gloves on because I had to take them off to mess with these computers and I will get my eye. Well, I've got glasses on, but I'm going to put my other power over top of these just to be on the safe side. Okay. Now I'm going to get ready and give this a little buzz. And yes, I'm using a very big stick blender, I know. But my uh, small one messed up, so I never got me another one. I just use this one. Put it on low. And this is only a pound, so you can make more if you want to. And I am uh, YouTubing this because I do YouTube. If you haven't checked out my channel, feel free to. As many of you know, I do have my own uh, recipe for modeling soap that I do use myself, uh, which is soap dough. And you can use any uh, CP recipe you want to to make soap dough. Now, not all recipes are going to behave the same when you go to model with it. And... Uh, this one here, 
I am going to be coloring in um, brown. And I will show you why after I get done making the uh, soap doughs. And uh, on Sorcery Soap's blog, it tells you to uh, wrap the soap the way that I, the same way I wrap it. I wrap it in, um, you know, I put it, pour it in my mold, which I'm going to show you, and then I wrap it with plastic wrap. Like you would use in your kitchen. Just clean wrap or something of that nature. And then I will leave that wrapped for, uh, I, I like to leave mine for up to 24 hours. And uh, I'm pretty sure that might be what her says. I'm going to get most of this out because you don't have a whole lot of soap there for just a pound. And I have my uh, brown color in there. I've already got it in there. I just put the powder straight into this container. I should have showed you that. I'll show you on the next one that I do. But... Let me put this out of the way. Don't want anyone getting into that bowl. And uh, I'm going to take my stick blender and I'm going to use it to blend this. Just mixing up my color. to put some water in a container so that I can stick my stick blender in it to get the uh, soap off, which I failed to do. Wasn't as prepared as I planned to be for this, but I think I've got that. So now I'm going to try getting that off of there, what I can of it anyhow, without getting it everywhere. And I'm sorry I can't see anyone's comments. And this big old thing, it is hard to get the soap out from around the blades. But, get most of it anyhow. Okay. Give this a spin in the water. Which I don't worry about that color transfer. It's not going to be that heavy a transfer, I don't think, anyhow. Then I'm going to give this a quick spin with a, my, um, I forget what I can call these things. Okay, then I take a mold. You see I've got pretty, pretty brown color. Poo. Well, it looks like poo-poo because I'm going to be using it to make poo-poo. And let me make sure YouTube's seeing it. Yep, they can see it. And I just take a mold with cavities like this right here. And then I'm just going to pour it in there. Pour it well, not completely, but close. My son's talking to me about it, and uh, I'll just pour it in there. I may put a little bit more in those ones that's pretty low. Yep, I'll be putting a little bit more in there. I guess it'll be touching the top. I don't worry. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, normally, I would like for it to not touch the top because that's where your plastic's going to be. But 
it doesn't hurt anything it's all according to you how you want to do after you unmold which I can come back live possibly and do an unmolding of this and show you how I do with it once it has been unmolded now she has instructions with hers on how to do it and uh, mine I treat a little bit differently so I will probably follow her instructions on hers mainly and uh, do it that way but okay now we put it this way wipe up my mold just a little bit here and hopefully Ebony is watching this you see girl you, it doesn't matter if you have a light trace or a thick trace when you're doing soap dough Now, false trace is something you don't want <laughs> because some oils will trick you into thinking you have a trace. And this plastic wrap, look over it because I ran out of plastic wrap, so I had to unwrap some of my soap dough that I already have made, or I call modeling soap because it is my own recipe. This one isn't, but that one is. I'm just press them down a little bit. And I like to wrap it really good. And then I will take this and I will stick it in a container that has a lid. If I can get it wrapped, that is. I will stick it in a container with a lid and then I'm going to leave it there for up to at least up to 24 hours is how I'm going to do it. But you see that. Make sure everybody's seeing it. And YouTube's seeing it too. Okay. So we got that one. Now, um, let me get me another paper towel and I'm getting ready to do one more. And then I will show you some of the things that I plan to uh, make with it. Now this one, I'm sorry everybody, but it's in here. And I guess I could pour it into that other container. Give me a second and I'll do that. I ran out of containers because I've been um, fixing some batches up and getting them all weighed out. I'm going to be doing a column pour. I was supposed to do that last week in my group, soaping and such, and I hadn't felt like it. But um, then I want to do a couple more soaps. Soon I'm going to have some creams that I have to do and I, I may go live with those also and um, okay got that in there now for my last solution I'm just going to let me make sure that I get some of this brown off of this blender because I know that that brown is a lot darker than what I'm going to be using. So I will make sure I get some of it off. I know I can't get it all off with that, short of washing it and I don't have time to wash it. So I did get some of the brown off. That's the only downfall with having a big blender is because you can't take the end off. I'll pour in my last solution like so. 
nothing added except for the water and the lye and um, her recipe does not allow for fragrance oil so now see we did get a little bit of color off of that brown but that's all right our colorant will cover that all up those containers right over there that I've got mica in. Yes. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, get that out of my way. Now, I'll show you this time. In this one I've got some, um, this is the neon pink, if you can see. It's a lot like that pink. Yeah, kind of does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And in this one, I've got some of the, I think it's Vibrant Purple from um, Nurture Soap. You can see that? And this one, I think, came. this one came from TKB. So, let me show YouTube. Okay, now... And I don't care if they're perfectly even. That doesn't matter to me. I'm not much on measuring unless it's lye and oils. As far as... And as you see, I'm just mixing this straight into my batter. Now, I could have mixed my micas with oil had I, had I wanted to. Or I could have used, I've used glycerin before, I've used oil to pre-mix them. Um, but many times I just do it straight into my batter. Now this is going to be a little bit trickier to mix because my big old stick blender is not going to go down in there and mix this. So therefore I'm going to have to mix this by hand. And uh, I'm going to have to see if I see my whisk. Can you look over there in my, these containers right over here that's got all of them soaping goodies? I need a whisk. Like you whisk uh, eggs with. It's be metal. The one I've got over there. Yep, that's it. Okay, now. I think I got that fairly decent. Now, let's see, take it right here. Yeah, from the bottom, just set it right over there. Now. I'm going to do the pink first, and as you see, a whisk works pretty good for this if you can't use your stick blender, which I could have made two pounds of her recipe, but I'm only using her recipe because it is easy. Yes, it's a simple recipe, and Ebony, this is a simple recipe for you to learn CP. And girl, if you can do hot process, I'm telling you, you can do CP. And you've done proof to us that you can do hot process. So cold process should be no problem. But a whisk works wonders. And make sure it got it all. If you can see, that batter looks beautiful. I'll show everybody in my group and everybody in Tracy's group and then I'll show you two. Okay, I went with pink. Now for my purple.
this purple seems to be a little bit trickier getting it all to mix. I know um, when I did the column pour live the other day or last week um, in my group, this purple was a little bit trickier. But I think I got it. Whisk works wonders if you don't have a stick blender that will fit down in there. So I'm going to show you in my group. This purple is beautiful. I love it. Love this color. Okay, now let's find us a mold. I think I'm going to go with this one. Now one of these have a hole in it. Let me see where it's at. Okay, I see where it's at. It's right here. Let me make sure everybody can see what I'm doing. Make sure that YouTube can also see. For the most part, maybe. Let's see if I can reposition this so that they can see also. There we go. Okay, now. I'm just going to start simply pouring as if I were swirling soap because I want to have this like a mix. So that's the way I like to do it if I want a mixture of colors. Okay. And my pink is going to get thick on me. They're both getting thick, but it doesn't matter because this is soap dough. No worries. And I know there's nothing to this. This is kind of a boring life, but you know, if it can help anyone at all, that's wonderful. And uh, Ebony, I hope to see your soap dough, what you create from it. Okay, now let's do another one. I got a little bit of playing down in there. Oh well, it'll be all right. Yep, I got a no no there. Got that off. Got a piece of fuzz on there. Can't have that. Nope. Okay. Let's see. A little bit of purple in this one. And it looks like I did more pink than I did purple. So, I won't have as much purple in there, but that's okay. I'll have a couple pink probably that are just pink. But they'll still be beautiful. Okay, let's put a little more pink in here. And you know, I don't think that's too thick to just pour that right in there because that holds time. Or I'm going to do it anyhow. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I have loads of product or pro projects, I mean, that I need to be doing, but. I'm behind, so whenever I get ready to do them, I may go live with them. Um, now, I don't know who all's groups I'll go in. I've got several that are my favorites, and uh, it could be either one. I know I'll go in mine for sure, and possibly, you know, I, I, I love, there's several that I really love, and uh, Soapy Mate Sense is one of them. And uh, let's see, okay, I think we've got that. And then I'll just beat it down, like so. And then I will wrap it. But first I need to get rid of this soaping material out of my way. And 
then I will stick some plastic wrap right on there and I'm going to have to see if I can find another piece because I am about out of plastic wrap. And I like them wrapped really good so I like to do at least two wraps around them. And like I said, this came off of some soap, uh, soap dough that I already have made, but it is in a container. Now hers has got, you know, like uh, suggestions on how soon to use it, how long uh, to wait before you use it, and uh, how long to take using it. And that is all on her blog post. Like I said on my YouTube video, I will link all of this to her information that you can check out. So be sure and check out the description if you're on YouTube. For all of you in the group, go and check out her. Um, all you have to do is just check out her blog post or I guess look her up. I found her on um, Facebook because I ran across that blog post and I thought, hmm, that's a very simple recipe. And I didn't want to give, you know, I can make my own. I've made plenty of them, but I wanted Ebony to have something simple to work with. Okay. Now I will take these and I will set them aside. 